Hello, welcome back to my fate 2 and today let's go. The Empire Strength. is falling apart. It even turns against itself, even as it destroys the world around it. Stay in house of an ancient relic from an ogre has left you dying in curse. Gear up and claim the other half of Elysia's charm. Previous wounds start with ten life, eating food does not heal. Drachnar the Mighty, a high defense will help reduce damage from Ogre's devastating onslaught. Dice. There be dice. <laughs> okay, let's take our tricks and bars. Shield us. Mm, be very useful. Oh, um, low health. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Mm, let's go for the standard tokens. Cottage, the forest, the house, and so on, and so on, and let's and we soothsayer and do. Fish. Okay. Mm. I guess that card is one of your favorites. I don't see the appeal. Of course you don't. You're not the one who dies over here. I think this. Ooh, I would like leather armor and maybe. Hmm, okay, well, let's go for standard sword. Okay. It seems you too are hasty. Here is our evidence of your eagerness to leap into difficulties you cannot face. You must know yourself, hone yourself, sharpen your wits and your sword against the challenges ahead. The bitter taste of blood is the first indicator that you're still alive. Blind and disoriented, you make out a voice calling to you. A pair of hands shake your breath. Wake up, Queen Slave! As you open your eyes, you smell crabs leaning over you, looking the worse for wear. What happened? Malaclebs gestures you to be quiet. He presses his back up against the boulder beside you and promises holding his side. As your head clears, a booming voice echoes out from deep in the foggy marsh. Oh, where have you crawled, last mice? That your inside begotten boss be crashed. Can't. You peer around the rock and from the mist steps an ogre, three times as tall as a man and with a lampant, vicious face. His one good eye darts about wildly as he surveys the area. Hunting something. The ogre runs and scoops up a broken, shiny trinket from the ground, splashed with splashed red with blood. Rain with your dirty lad. Wretched process. Raven into his great hideous face to smell. If thou listen here, I will find the twin. Then I will eat thine eyes. The ogre lifts his club and smashes a tree trunk in anger. The tree creaks and crashes to the the tree creaks and crashes to the ground as Drachnar the ogre turns and disappears back into the mist. Malakleps grimaces as he holds his side, attempting to hide the severity of his injuries. Here, you are injured. Eat. Throws your medical airplane. Weak to your bones. Grateful. Take. Gratefully take a bite. And the bread turns to ash in your mouth. 
There's a sinking re realization you pull the other half of the ogre string it from your back. Sure enough, you feel a warmness emanating from it. Half of Odysseus charm, or holding only half if it does not wish to lie. A stab of hunger hits your stomach. There's only one thing for it. You must see, steal back the other half from the ogre that almost killed you. The closest town is Rapier, Margrabs whispers hoarsely. We cannot hope to invent an ogre now. Summoning your remaining strength, you lift yourself to your feet and stare down. Okay. After another day of rainfall and marsh day marshlands swell into a swamp, water and mud obscure the path ahead. As you press on every direction you to be preparing. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm games within going games so much. within games. Oh, nice. Disoriented and slowed by the bug, you spend another day finding your way back to the path. As you scramble up the path, a booming voice echoes out over the marshlands. It is Drakna. I thought I borrow a little mouse, I can smell thy blood. Freaking kidding me. Well done. You continue to impress. With luck on your side, you lose Dragnar in the moors and double back to the trail. Continue towards the trap here without delay. These tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more oh. cards, more opportunities. Okay, I can give them five food. Doesn't feel the hands. Here they offer the most to shreds as the children scrum before they can get. Hey, more people can appear from out of the shadows to take the food. Suddenly, an armed man spreads into the alley, knocking several children to the ground. He pauses to swear and glances back the way he came. A silver. God damn it! A silver haired lady, clearly dressed for combat and sporting an array of weapons, stands silhouetted at the end of the alley. I'm bloodless, mad eye, she says matter of factly. Mad eye draws his weapon as the children scatter. I'm not going back to prison, he yells in defiance. Okay, I'll attack him. This one's mine, the woman tells you as you draw the weapon. More armed men suddenly rush into the alleyway. Hi, one of them calls. We won't let her take you. Fuck. Okay, this one yours. I won't kill him unless my life is in. Okay, which means constantly. Ketura, you will find no charity here. When activated, Ketura fires her black hole stuck weapon and causes high damage to enemies in range if they close to her. Nothing like the smell of gunpowder to get the blood Oh my god, oh my god. Get up. I need you to stick up. Mal, get back here! Oh, fuck it. Which one is in my way? Come on, kill him! She wanted to kill. I delivered. Nothing more I could do. The silver haired woman immediately rushes forward to send over Mad Eye, declaring, I'm taking this long life and getting the payment. 
As formidable as the woman looks, you don't deserve the other old men for leaving the alleyway. Give me some food. A mighty weapon for a mightier warrior than you, I think. <laughs> you also can leave the now familiar town of Iron Peak. Push forward towards Not your yet. final confrontation. Do yeah. what you can to find more food. The pool where the slows your day's journey. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press on onto higher grounds and happen upon an old road through the marshlands. To the left, you see a group of cliff cliffs blocking the road. To check the path to the right, you hear the distant sound of a group of raiders squabbling in the northern town. <laughs> We're going for the raiders. The sky opens up as you ready yourself for combat. Goodness. Okay, yes. Push <laughs> me like that. That was way too close. Okay, I think I'm okay. That cool. <laughs> Risk it. Yeah, I don't want to risk it more than I did right now. Thank you. A reward well earned. Thank you. With the raiders defeated, you notice some equipment hidden off the path in the Maya. Perhaps they were guarding it. Oh. Whoa. You lack prominence to use this weapon. Gain more fame. But I can sell it. They have not but contempt for you. Oh god. I cannot understand why you would have anything to do with them. I don't know. I might give them the yeah, the, uh, the thing for head. Okay, am I gonna see the introduction for them again? Really? Each time. Okay, I don't remember where. Really? Really? I dodged. Anything. Perhaps different arms would find you faring better. Maybe. Or more skills. Hey. Hmm, crossbow. Is that like legit weapon? Think. Do not continue to fail me. I have need of your greatest efforts. Oh well. I tried. I failed. Happens. I said that I was gonna fail. Uh, but you know what? I think I'll take a little break. So for now, thank you. Stay alive and see you soon.